then we don't have to worry about the Red Moon or the Hunters anymore? Well, not exactly. The spell isn't strong enough to beat the amulets when they're fully charged. She'll be safe tonight, but we can't stop the Hunters on the night of the Red Moon. Then we're back to square one. Well, not necessarily. The pages also give more insight on the amulets. Whoever holds the amulets gets the power they put out. Hmm. My grandpa told me a story about the amulets once. If Celine Dion is part of the plot twist, I'm walking out. No, this one is real. <sighs> amulets charge a person's intent. So if a good person is holding the amulets, the good in them is strengthened. If an evil person is holding them... Then their evil is strengthened. We obviously need to get the amulets back. We tried that already. And what about Rue? Uh, we can try to cast the binding spell, but it'll only protect her for the night. It's better than nothing. I'll go get her. The Ignis Obligo TB. I, I bind you by the power of fire. The Aque Obligo TB. I bind you by the power of water. The Terra TB Obligo. I bind you by the power of the earth. The Aries Obligo TB. I bind you by the power of air. The solis aclune obligo TV. I bind you by the power of the sun and the moon. In nomine Dea Ibuete, in the name of the goddess, I command you. May chains of fire bind you. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. That's <laughs> never going to happen. It totally could. Absolutely not. Anything is possible. The Olsen twins are never, ever ever going to be on Fuller House. Let me have hope. Oh, oh how's Rue? She'll be down in a few minutes. Hopefully if the spell worked, we can have one last night off. You know, one night of normalcy before all hell breaks loose. Literally. Okay, Hardy. Hmm. So if you knew the world was going to end tomorrow... Which I do. How would you spend your last night on Earth? Oh, uh, I'd go skydiving. Why wait until the end of the world to go skydiving? Well, think about it. If my parachute doesn't open, and what have I got to lose? The world's gonna end. <laughs> what would you do? Oh, um, <laughs> I would jump on stage at a Joan Jett concert and sing I Love Rock and Roll with her. What? Why would Joan Jett have a concert the last night on Earth? Well, why would you be able to go skydiving? I would start a flash mob. Oh. I've always wanted to be in one. In maybe jazz hands or a demon deterrent? <laughs> How about you, Rue? What would you do? Go on a date. Ugh. Rue the romantic. A date? Oh. Well, why not something more daring? Well, you four can live all of life's adventures. You can wander and get lost, jump out of planes, dance among strangers. I can't even do the simple things that you guys take for granted. What I would do might not be as adventurous as yours, but it's one of the only things I could do that would truly make me happy. Isn't that what living life is for? Told you she can be a bit emo at times.
Um, so in the episode where the spell is cast, I think that that was a really pivotal moment for Stella because I think that's the episode where she feels that she was accepted into the group because, I mean, it takes a lot of trust to let somebody say these incantations that are going to keep your best friend safe. God, we're really getting into it. We have no idea what we're doing. We're messing with the powers that be. Um... Now we're just going off whatever Stella says, who's like the newest addition to the band, and we're still like not sure about her. Um, and now she's project manager. Yeah, like, now oh, she's project manager. Okay. Got it. I've been working here for five years. No, I'm just <laughs> um, so we're doing the spell. Uh, that's big. That's that's scary. We're really not sure what we're messing with, but we're willing to try anything at this point. And I think the scene directly following the spell really shows that, where all of the women are sitting around and um, talking and kind of having as good of a time as they can, considering the world is going to end tomorrow. Um, but talking about, you know, what would you do? You'd go skydiving. You'd jump on stage at a Joan Jet concert. You, like, those are things that, like, I, you don't discuss your bucket list with strangers. You know what I mean? They You talk about that sort of, the things with that sort of gravity with people you're close to. And I think that's kind of the moment when Stella realizes, like, I'm a part of this, you know? They, they've they brought me in, and sure, they brought me in as a resource at first, but now they've invited me into their homes. We're talking about what we would do if we only had one day left to live. So Hardy wants to go skydiving. Um, Justine wants to have a flash mob. I want to jump on stage at a Joan Jett concert and sing I Love Rock and Roll. And Rue just wants to go on a date, which is the most precious thing in the world. But <laughs> um, it's just, you know, you learn so much about these people you're in the room with in that scene. And the fact that, you know, we're all human except for Rue. We're all vulnerable, including Rue. And we're really letting our guards down around each other. And especially Stella, who the first time is being her authentic self and being fully truthful with these women and letting herself experience friendship. 